YouTube. We are doing free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures. We are in the basic JavaScript course on challenge 90 not or 100 of 113. All right, so we're almost done. We got like 13 more, 14 more. All right, so today we're going to iterate through an array with a for loop. So basically, what this is saying is um, commonly in JavaScript you'll have to iterate through an array. The best way to do that, or at least one way to do that, the most common way to do that is a for loop. Uh, this code will this code will output each element of the array to council. So we have the array array, and then we have a for loop that is starts at zero, so zero, and goes to the array length there, and then increments up, so it'll go zero, one, two, three, four, and then just council logs array at index whatever the i is at at that time so whether it's 0 1 2 and so forth uh, so yeah basically here it says remember uh, arrays have zero based indexing which means we count starting at 0 um, so the first index is really the zeroth index uh, which means the last index of the array is length minus 1 right so this should have been length minus 1 Okay, yeah, so basically what we're going to do is declare an initialized variable for total uh, that is equal to zero. We're going to assign it to zero, and then we're going to use a for loop to add the value to each element of my array, to add each element of my array to total. Okay, so we're basically just going to add all these values to a total variable. So all we can, all we have to do here is uh, initialize a variable. We've got to declare it, right? So we can say, uh, let total equal zero. And now we can start with our for loop, right? So we know how to do these. They look exactly like this syntax. And we know we're going to have to go through the length of the array here. So we can say for let i equals zero, i is less than my array dot length i plus plus to increment up, OK? And brackets to open the array or the for loop up so we can actually put logic in it so it will execute that every time it loops through uh, with a new i value. So all we want to do is add the value that is at whatever i indexes. So if we're in my array at index 0, we want to add that to total and index 1, we want to add that to total and so forth. So all we have to do for that is say total equals total plus my array at index i. And that should work. All right, so that works. That's all I wanted for this one. Um, a better way and a more efficient way. This is technically correct. There's nothing wrong with this. With coding, there's not really a right way to do it unless the code doesn't work. Then it's the wrong way to do it, right? But there is only more efficient ways. If the code works, it works, and that's the right way, but there always are more efficient. So uh, instead of saying that, we can literally just say total plus equals my array at index i. So this is the same as what we had before. It's basically just adding my array at index i to total. So total equals total plus my array at index i, or total plus equals my array at index i, and that should say the same thing. There we go. So I hope that helped. Hope that made sense. Uh, again, you don't have to, you don't have to format it like this or do the syntax if that doesn't make sense. But really, this is um, just a little cleaner of a way to code it, and uh, something you will definitely see in any environment. So hope that helped. Hope to see you guys in the next challenge.